Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more... Sorry you had to see me like that. I've... I had no idea that places like this existed in our world. I don't think we're in our world anymore. strange place. Who's there? These are the temporal crossroads, which connect the human and spirit realms that I created. Are you Maxwell? Indeed. I am Maxwell, Lord of the Spirits. I never thought humans would reach this place. We've come a long way to ask you something. We want you to tell us about Mila. Hmm? We heard that you used Mila as bait. Can you tell us why? I see. You must have been her companions. Yes, we traveled together. She taught me to think about many things. About power. And what I must do. And then she died. That's when I finally realized what I should do. What I have to do. And what is that? Destroy the schism. It's the only way to save both Riza Maxia and Olympias. Fool. The outside is overflowing with Spyrexes. Do you wish to destroy all of Riza Maxia? Her reason for choosing death had eluded me until now. 
But now I am certain. You lot tempted Mila away from her mission. It is because of you she took such foolhardy actions. And now you plan to dispel the schism and bring about the end of the world. Maxwell, please, listen! Bane of my creation, be gone from my world! Watch out, everyone! Can you possibly comprehend what you are attempting to do? We know precisely what we are doing. That is why we do it. Why do you think we came to ask you about Mila? We want to know the truth behind Riza Maxia, and why you would use Mila as bait. What difference does it make? What would change if I told you? We don't know, but not knowing certainly hasn't gotten us anywhere. Two millennia ago, Spyrix appeared in this world. Spirits perished. Nature withered and died. Humans began following the path of annihilation. So I saved all the spirits and animals I could, and I gathered humans born with the ability to produce mana. It was then I created Riza Maxia and sealed them all inside it to provide a haven from the Spyrix. The world is an ark that must sail until Olympias falls. No one may disembark until then. So what? We just twiddle our thumbs until Olympias dies? That can't be the only way to save humans and spirits. It is. But at this rate, the people in Olympias will all die. Pity them not. I had my human allies warn them that Spyrix would bring nothing but annihilation. Yet the humans persisted in its use. Furthermore, once they realized that the spirits in their world were going extinct, they took drastic measures. They launched their assault upon Riza Maxia. You must be referring to what happened 20 years ago. That must have been when the massive hole opened in the schism. Yes. I cannot leave this place, so I created Muse as my replacement to eradicate any intruders. And yet, some folks snuck right in under your nose. And those folks were... Exodus? A clever lot. They avoided my detection and went into hiding. So I came up with a plan. Exodus knew that if I were to die, my schism would die with me. I realized that with the proper bait, I could lure my prey out of hiding. That can't be right. Wait, you don't mean... Yes. I created a life I could expose to my foes that would lure them into the open. You know by now who that is. Mila. How could you? But did she know she was an imposter? I am not so careless. I engraved my words into her heart, and I had her raised to believe she was truly Maxwell. But that means her mission meant nothing. Did she even mean anything to you? Of course. She was an essential cog in my machine. Don't you dare call her that! <laughs> Nothing has changed. I have given you the gift of the truth, yet your response remains the same. 
You let your emotions control you and seek to destroy that which you do not understand. You fools do not seek a greater vision. You're the only fool here. A lowly human dares address me as such. That's right. Why didn't you try to understand me? Why did you ignore your people? such as these have twisted my cog from her purpose. The hell are you talking about? Mila never changed, not an itty bit! Impossible! Do you really not get it? You've got it all wrong! What? Did you really create Mila? Indeed. He seems to know nothing about her. Mila change. Preposterous. What are you talking about? We all know Mila would never abandon her mission. Then how do you explain her actions? Her mission was never to destroy the schism. Mila sacrificed her life trying to save everyone. She obeyed only her own heart. Nothing she did was for you. What complete nonsense. Taste my wrath and face total annihilation. No, I won't run anymore. I will face my fears. I will want true victory. The great spirit, gather. I won't lose. No matter how many times you regain your feet, I will simply knock you down again. Your life ends here. That may be what you think, but it's not for you to decide. Ridiculous. Look at yourself, fool. You can barely even stand up. Do you really think you have the strength to resist me? Truly happening? Mila? No way! M 
mío. Is it not Maxwell's mission to protect the future for all of us, both human and spirit? But how can this be? Was this the Force doing? Uncertain? Uncertainty makes you weak, you know. Okay, Jude. Let's go! Right! Here we go!
out to me and said, Mila. It's... it's really you. Yes, all right. All right! I can't stop. I want to get stronger. You can totally do it. I need more strength. There's always room for improvement. All right, not bad. Hey. Hi there. Hey! Uh, Mila! Uh, Elise. Leia. She's back! For real, for real, you real! I feel blessed to have lived long enough for this reunion. To think that we would meet again. This feels like a dream. But it's real, isn't it? I'm glad to see you too. Welcome back, Mila. Thank you. Hey! Stay away from us! Or am I gonna have to finish you off myself? I do not understand the Four. Tell me, what is the meaning of this? I could no longer stand idly by and allow you to continue with this folly. Right. Exactly. So we decided to help Mila out and bring her to the spirit realm. How dare you? I gave no such order. Lord Maxwell, all people have hearts and minds, just the same as we do. You can't just treat them like tools, even if it does help save the world in the end. Maxwell. You may have been the one to give me my mission. Nevertheless, it was still my own mission. You exerted your own will. And that was a decision that came straight from your own heart. Yes. The world you created seems to serve no purpose other than to exist. But what kind of life is that for its people? I... We all just want to live. I suppose this is why I could not understand your actions. Human hearts truly are complicated things. Perhaps my ignoring that fact is what ultimately led me astray. I shall dispel the schism. Are you serious? Maintaining the schism requires a tremendous amount of mana. Dispelling it will disperse this energy into the world. That should protect the world's spirits. At least for a time, anyway. It will grant us a reprieve of a few years. Possibly even a few decades, at best. Thank you, Maxwell. We'll figure out a solution. Both Riza Maxia and Olympias will live on together. We'll find a way. You have my word. So, Maxwell, you would step down from your rightful place as this world's god? Gaius? Answer me, Maxwell. 
I have grown weary of constantly being at the mercy of human hearts. Maxwell. If you wish to abdicate your throne as Riza Maxia's god, then I shall sit upon it in your stead. A mere human to replace me as my equal? How absurd. You are not worthy at all. It is not a question of being worthy. It is a question of actually being willing and able. If you cannot fulfill your obligations, then I certainly will. Not so fast. I'm afraid that's not going to work for me, either. It matters not. I don't need your approval. Such power. It can't be. The Lance of Kresnik? What choice did I have? After all, you refused to tell me what I should do, now didn't you? Muse, have you lost your mind? I cannot allow you to destroy the schism! Maxwell, you shall serve as the cornerstone of your own world! Mission to protect the schism. My mission. Mine, mine, mine. Release me right now. That is an order. I'm afraid it's too late. You're always too late. <laughs> Space and time. I don't expect we'll meet again. Farewell, my sister. You can't be serious. Why are you doing this? Gaius! For the sake of those who were killed, I will go to Olympias. And you shall return to Riza Maxia, where you cannot interfere! Come on, you gotta be kidding me! Where am I? Mila. Hey there. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, how are you feeling? I'm all right, but where are we? This is Balin's residence. Who's that? My cousin. You know, the one in Olympias? I could have sworn I mentioned him before. So that must mean... We made it to Olympias! Rise and shine. How are you feeling? Not bad. I'm fine. Balin, I presume? Yep, AKA the guy who saved your butts. Not that it was a dramatic rescue or anything. Running into you was pure luck. 
Feel free to shower me with gratitude, though. Uh, sure. Hey, Balin, don't we seem, you know, strange to you? Maybe a little bit. I'm surprised you recognize me. It's been 20 years. That's Uncle's gun, huh? You should thank him for it. It's a little tricky thanking the dead. Oh, right. Good point. Huh, where is it? Your cousin sure is... interesting. He's an odd bird, even for Olympias. You looking at my leg? Uh, no. Jude! Ah, don't worry about it. Childhood mishap. Calibration complete. Balin, stop. Why? Hey, that's... I didn't think folks from the other side would have seen one of these before. A Spyrex. Hold your horses. Huh? Life would be a drag without it. Literally. Oh, you're probably all starving. Why don't you mosey around while I whip something up? It's your first time on this side, after all. <laughs> 